Hey everybody, welcome back to a North Texas Weather Center forecast and today what we're looking at is the potential for wintry precipitation heading into Friday and as well as Friday afternoon. This will be something to really watch over the next 24 hours as it could make some travel impacts. And I'll break down everything that you need to know from accumulations travel impacts as well as where to expect it and when to expect this wintry precipitation but let's get started with the temperatures first because tomorrow morning we will be chilly a lot of us back out to the north and west will be only in the upper 20s and low 30s back in dfw closer to the mid 30s dallas 36 plano 33 and sherman is gonna be 31 so you can kind of see the temperature difference there temperatures will drop throughout the morning so you can see closer to dallas by noontime we're gonna be looking at 33 degrees northwest of us you know weatherford 31 Sherman, 31 as well. So, obviously, not a huge change, but areas off to the east will definitely start to feel the change of temperature only by a few degrees, but it'll help to potentially have some ice accumulation and maybe even some snow accumulation as well. Heading closer to about 3 o'clock, when these snow showers and as well as the mix of some rain, sleet, and snow moves out to the east, temperatures will drop with that. So, Paris is going to be 36 at lunchtime. It's going to drop to 32, which could help to have some accumulation in those areas off to the northeast. Now, obviously, we will see a huge difference Saturday morning. Temperatures will be very chilly. More on that later in this forecast. Let's take a look at the future radar, though. So, down to the south around 3 in the morning, obviously overnight when you're likely sleeping, you can see down to the south near Keelan and Waco, those areas will see some light showers. No wintry weather yet. Eventually, by about 5, 6 in the morning, we can start to see maybe some flurries, very light snow near Wichita Falls. Here in the middle, basically in Abilene, anywhere from Weatherford to Abilene, we'll start to see some light sleet and maybe even a little bit of freezing rain. Now, this could help to potentially have a little glaze of ice on the road when you're traveling tomorrow morning. Definitely be careful. Drive slow if you must travel. Eventually, closer to about 7 in the morning, you see it starts to fill in a little bit more, but eventually by about 9, 10 o'clock, the area of some sleet and as well as maybe some mix of some snow and rain will start to exist anywhere from Weatherford off to Wichita Falls and even over as far east as Sherman. And then you can see maybe some light snow still ongoing near Wichita Falls. Eventually by lunchtime, you can see this starts to shift into DFW. So still some light sleet st likely falling in areas like Dallas, Plano, and maybe even, you know, anywhere in the Fort Worth area. Might be starting to see some sleet showers, which could again maybe have a little thin glaze of ice on the road, which could hamper the travel when you're traveling tomorrow some some hazardous travel by about three o'clock you can see we we'll start to see a lot of the snow starts to shift off to the north and east this is when things get interesting because the low pressure is likely going to you know pressure is actually going to keep going down which will likely help to create some moderate snow fall rates in areas like paris and also in southeastern oklahoma and northeastern texas so this will be something to watch that's why i think higher accumulations are going to be possible in areas like paris now we will start to see a brief transition into snow closer to dallas so around two o'clock you can see it's a bit more noticeable there will be a brief transition into just snow or at least some sleet and snow in dfw around two or three o'clock in the afternoon Again, accumulations likely won't be really that high because of how quickly this system will move, but it'll be something to watch very closely as it does move through our area, and you eventually see this all moves out to our east around the evening hours, and we should dry out then. Texarkana could see some accumulation as well. That'll be something to watch there. All right, let's take a look at what we're expecting early Friday. So wintry mix, again, likely for areas like Denton, Fort Worth, Mineral Wells in the early portions of Friday. Primarily rain east of I-35, <clears throat> back off to the northwest near Wichita Falls and just to the northwest there, likely just snow. Now, during Friday afternoon, we'll likely see a bit of a different story. Maybe some snow for DFW. I don't expect significant accumulations here. I would expect the worst of the accumulations to be off to our northeast. A wintry mix or anywhere just south of Claiborne and east off to closer to Terrell. And then eventually just rain, it looks like, for Tyler tomorrow. Now, let's take a look at this. I'm going to go and shift my face cam over because it's going to block out something. But you can kind of go ahead and get the general picture here that we'll likely see nothing to a coating in areas in that white shaded region. So this would be where I would expect maybe some sleet and maybe some snow, really unnoticeable difference from what we would see, you know, what we're looking at today on the grass. You probably will only see a few snowflakes in these areas, maybe up to an isolated coating. Now, in this area here, I didn't really highlight it, but you can kind of see where the black pen is. This area here might see a glaze of ice from the sleet that does accumulate going into tomorrow morning. So that'll be something to watch very closely. A coating to an inch anywhere for areas like Bowie, Wichita Falls, Denton, McKinney, Sherman, all could see anywhere from a coating to maybe half an inch and maybe three quarters inch will be possible in some areas there. I can't really an isolated inch, but I would expect the main threat to be off to our northeast for areas like Paris, southeastern Oklahoma, and far northeastern Texas could see the potential for maybe one to maybe an inch and a half of snow. Isolated two inches again will be possible. All right, let's take a look at the overall 
Okay, that, re that works. All right, <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the ice accumulation in terms of what to expect in terms of ice. So you can kind of see to get the general picture, a lot of these areas back out to the west, so west of I-35 and north of I-20 could see some sleet accumulation, which could, again, create some travel impacts. Now, it should be fairly minor. I don't anticipate any power outages by any means. It will be very minimal how much ice we see, but it will be enough to potentially have some travel impacts. So take it slow on the roads. Make sure you're not traveling too close and don't, you know, be tailgating somebody make sure you're taking a very nice distance in between the car in front of you to prevent any car accidents because obviously it's going to be taking you know the ice is very it's much harder to travel on i should say all right heading into the snowfall accumulation again this is just one computer model mainly a coating to maybe up to a half an inch in most areas paris close to an inch of snow and this is another computer model the hrr model will give you a better picture i think this one's a bit more accurate um, a little bit high on the the totals but i think that closer to a coating to maybe half an inch in dfw Back off to the northeast areas like Paris, probably between 1 to 2 inches. I would not assume 2.5 inches will be your kind of total, but it might be close to that. Heading into Saturday morning, we will be chilly. A lot of us in the 20s and 30s, and wind chills also will be in the teens and also in the low 20s, so keep that in mind. And I forgot to mention this forecast. During Friday, we will likely see wind gusts peaking between 35 to 45 miles per hour, so it will be very windy on Friday. Make sure you keep that in mind heading into Friday. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting, Birdies Pro Turf, and THD Vehicle Doorstep.